It's tougher than any man-made material. It's a combination of strength and elasticity. No other material can actually combine these two features. Either material is strong or it's elastic, and spider silk is both. Five times stronger than steel, spider silk has been tantalizing the human imagination for decades. You want to be Spider-Man, you have to make fibers. But we can't just farm the silk because spiders eat each other. So scientists have pursued other routes. A DNA sequencing breakthrough in Germany means manufacturing spider silk fiber is no longer pure fantasy. The next step is really producing tons of the material. In all the offices we have spiders and, you know, they're, they're like pets. We like to have them around. We think they're beautiful. If eight-legged co-workers make your skin crawl, then the biomaterials lab at Bayreuth University probably isn't for you. It's here that Professor Thomas Scheibel and his team study natural substances like spider silk in the hope of turning them into super materials. Spider silk has, for a lot of material scientists, been the holy grail for decades. If we take a thumb-thick um, spider fiber, we could actually get a jumbo jet holding up in air without tearing it apart. It can withstand hundreds of tons of load in full speed without breaking. The best um, silk producers are obvivimed spiders. They have seven different types of silk with different properties. We find dramatic differences there concerning mechanics, but also concerning other properties. Wanting to harness these characteristics led to Scheibel's breakthrough in genetically modifying bacteria to produce spider silk proteins. The bacteria we are using as working horse are very simple organisms. They only try to grow and we exploit that. We, we feeding them, we give them perfect conditions to live and they multiply and multiply. And afterwards, we, we change their way of living. We, we give a trigger so that they stop proliferating and they start producing our protein. After purification, we have the protein in form of a white powder. Amsilk takes the protein powder and spins it into a fiber. So what you can see here is our spinning machine where we produce our biosteel fiber, which is then transferred to the yarner who can make the yarn and then later the fabric out of the material. Rather than use the biosteel material in their own product, Amsilk wants to produce it for established brands who have expertise. Adidas used it to create a concept shoe and Omega made a special edition watch strap. Airbus are also exploring how it can be used in aviation. They know their product, we develop together with them. The product has much higher quality in comparison to what we could do on our own. The company has raised millions in venture capital, but producing enough of the material is the biggest challenge. Yes, it's very thin, you need a lot of the fiber. In a normal sports shoe, there are more than 170 kilometers of this fiber processed into the yarn and later the fabric of the shoe. 